Good morning. <laughs> well, you asked for it. I'm going to do it. I cannot believe this. <laughs> you saw the thumbnail. Get ready with me. Okay. Um, you guys. Ow. Just let's get this long hair out of the way. And okay, and you just need to know when I don't have my glasses on, I cannot see anything. Okay, so um, <laughs> if I do anything strange or weird, don't worry about it because I never noticed. <laughs> you may have, but I know I, I'm not. Okay, I've had several requests about, Lady, well, you should do a get ready with me. I'm going, oh my gosh, in front of a camera and the rest of the world. Okay, but I'm going to do it. But before I do, I'm going to put my glasses on and I just want to show you guys because it's just so important to me right now because I'm on a peaches journey. Told you guys so that's part of my you know well it's not really part of my get well I guess it is part of me getting ready because I do it every morning and every night I change a few of the routines but this morning is sort of like my normal morning when I'm getting ready and I've been doing this since uh, December the 19th I changed a few of my products uh, added some more things on and I'll remember I did for 38 years I did um, skincare two products though I did serum and moisturizer, and I'm going to link that video uh, at the end so you can see it. Um, is, as Lisa ex explained, I did do skincare, I, even though it wasn't anything as extensive as this, but you know what I did, what I've done over all these years? I've damaged my skin. I've been, like a lot of women in my era, like so, I'm 71, I was a sunbather, and then we had a place in Palm Springs for 20 years. I don't think anybody really remembers seeing me with a hat, maybe on a really hot day. Yeah, so I have a lot of stuff that is happening to my skin and that is changing. And a lot of them are all the spots. Some have gone, new ones are coming. I'm the student. Go to Lisa's channel, she can explain that to you. Okay, so this morning when I jump in the shower, I love doing my routine, at the, my morning shower, I do my routine. So what I did this morning, just so you guys know, I used my exfoliator and I, you, <laughs> let me put on my glasses, thank you. I did my Peaches Classic Face Cleaner and sometimes I use the other one, I can't think of it right now. So I do that and then I do, I, I pad my face dry, quite dry, and then I use the um, polish, the Perfecting Polish, which is really something totally new for me, but I'm really liking it. I, mean, I just can't believe my neck. I think I use, I, on all of these products, I know I'm doing one thing wrong. I'm over, I use too much of it. You don't need to use as much as I do, but I don't know, I just kind of get into it and put it on. Sorry, I, I, this is not gonna last me as long as everybody else's. Okay, and then I take my, this is my little bottle of baking soda that I keep in the shower with me. And um, then I do my baking soda. And then I finish off. And in between that, I shampoo my hair because like the polish should be on for a little while. And this is just real quick, just to go over it. Then I put on the um, ACV toner, which is made with organic ingredients. This one here, I spray that on. I give that a few minutes. When it dries up, I come back. I put on the perfect pH toner. I have another full bottle. This is. I'm saving all my empties. I'm gonna do my first empties one of these days. Well, on December, after December the 19th. Might as well think ahead. Then on, I put on the beautiful vitamin C serum, which I've never ever done before. I put on the squeezed. I just wanna show you guys all this in case you wanna be as gorgeous as, <laughs> as my skin is getting. Uh, then I put on the, uh, let me get it straight here. Then I put on the lifting serum. And then I put on my moisturizer and uh, then I have dabbed a little bit of the eye cream. Sometimes I use a little bit of my other eye cream because I really love it as well. Okay, so that kind of gets me ready to do this. 
I also use the uh, miracle mask. But anyway, that's this is about me getting ready. So now I'm done. I'm ready to get ready. Are you ready <laughs> for my makeup regime? You guys, I have to be really honest. I've maybe used foundation twice in my whole life. I bought a primer actually about 10 months ago because I was heard everybody talking about it. But I thought, I don't need it. I don't wear foundation, whatever. That's what it, I just don't do it. I Just not me. It's not my thing. I have all everything I need right here. There we go. <laughs> it's right here. Okay. Like I say, I have a lot of spots and a lot of new ones are coming out, but my face is totally changing. I'm also getting better about doing my um, f facial yoga, which I did like back in the 80s, and but I wasn't as committed to it. And I must admit, it's really I really struggle to, to, stay, to do it every day, but I'll do it in the car. It's really great because you go and you make all these faces and people give you lots of room on the road because they think, what's wrong with that woman? Okay, so I do use a concealer, but not for what you think. I don't use a concealer on my face. I use a concealer on my eyes. Uh, this is the one that is by um, a Garnier Clear, Clearly Bright. Oh, just a minute. Oh, I'm feeling so, okay, there you go. All right, so, but I'll tell you what I do I use it on my eyes. So I just put a little bit on my finger. Okay, I see if, see if I can do this. You guys are so good at this. And I'm not. So I put it just down in here. Actually, I do have some nice matte eye makeup. But I would only use that if we were going out somewhere, like if it was a, you know, an evening out. Who on earth has been out? So I just do this just to get rid of that, that dark on my eyes. There. And the other one. Sorry guys, I've never done anything like this on my channel, but I guess I want to I want to share that not everybody has to do all the all the routines that you do. If you do, and and I mean, so many of you are so good at it, but it's never been my thing. And I actually think now that I'm 71, I think not doing all of that has actually been really good for my skin over the years. Like I. Yeah, I really do. I, you know, I'm not a master esthetician or I am not. Actually, I have seen a dermatologist and they've always been fairly impressed with the fact that I don't really put anything on my face except skincare. So, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, so this is the big part of my routine. And I don't know if I can do this like this. I can't even get them. I can't even see me in the mirror. Oh, there. Okay. So then what I do, I have, oh. <laughs> this is more of a comedy show, right? Okay. Okay. So I use this, this Annabelle. I really like using products that are made in Canada or the US or, um, yeah, I just really try to stay away from products that are made in China. And I know it's hard to do, but that's just me. It's a personal thing for me. Um, so I will not go without my bronzer. I need my bronzer. Now, of course, I don't apply bronzer like you girls do that uh, do makeup or like you're pros at this. So, and I, they say, oh, I'm not supposed to put it on the cheekbone. But you know what? You guys see me like this. This is what I do every time you see me. So I do a little bit on my forehead. And I think the reason, and I put a little bit in here on my jaw, a little bit on my neck. I think it's because I was a sun baby. Like, oh, I know. Why would you admit that? Well, you know what? <laughs> if you don't admit it, then nobody can help you with. Okay. I never I always make sure I don't have a funny little line there. I don't like that. That's really like, ooh. Okay. 
So that's my face. I'm done. I did not know how great this was until I started using it. One of my issues with mascara has always been, I don't like using the wipes and the oils. They've always bothered my eyes. But anyway, it was time for me to switch and I switched because it, you know, supposed to make your eyelashes really, really long. And so I thought, okay, that's what I need. Because of course, as we age, we seem to lose a little bit of that. But, um, oh, I do want to share that with you guys. What I have been doing is using the castor oil, um, because I've been learning about that from Lisa. And this is like one of those little travel toothbrushes. These things are great. They're really great. So this one's got, I rinse it off and then I put castor oil on it. So what I have been doing every, every night, but I do it during the day too after I get out of my shower, I do brush my eyebrows with it. And you know what? They are coming back thicker. I need a little bit more on the end, but I'm not, I do have a pencil, but I don't do that on a daily basis. And then you can, I use the same one for my eyelids. And it really is making a difference. And it was really funny because I was in um, at our, our local drugstore shop, it's Drug Mart, and when I was telling one of the um, gals there, uh, one of the reps for one of the cosmetic companies. That's what I'm doing. She goes, oh, I'm a, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm so afraid I'm going to get oil in my ducts or whatever. And I thought, well, what about the stuff you're trying to sell me is kind of like that too. Why wouldn't you worry about that? This is natural. Don't people drink that when you go to ha want to have your baby? Anyway, that's what I, I love these little brushes. This is where I put my castor oil and I do my eyebrows and a little bit on my eyelashes. Okay, so now back to this this mascara i gotta tell you guys the first time i used this i totally freaked out because i'm not a makeup guru <laughs> i used it i loved it it looked fabulous on my eyes oh and i did i tell you guys what this is this is l'oreal and i guess i should mention it and it's the l'oreal double extend beauty tubes mascara okay so when I heard the word tubes, I just thought, um, I don't know, tubes. This is a tube, right? Well, that's not what it, I only just learned this a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago, that tubes is actually how it goes on your eyes. But I didn't know that when I took my shower the very first time I put this mascara on. And honest to goodness, I thought my eyelashes were falling off. I thought, oh my Lord, because I'd never used anything like this before, right? Where you've got the white and then you've got the black. So I thought, okay, whatever I had, whatever was going on, I had a reaction and now I've lost all my eyelashes. And then when I got out of the shower, I went, oh, my eyelashes are still there. What has just happened? So I thought, oh, it's a mascara. It comes off really easy. And since then, not only did I think make my eyelashes look great, I love that I don't have to use all those oils and wipe everything off. Now people say, well, what about when you're swimming? Do you know what? I'm not like a heavy duty like swimmer. I'm just kind of like, you know, the one that floats around in the pool. Unless the grandkids are around, it'll be kind of crazy. So I've never, never really had a problem uh, with it coming off in the water unless you're actually rubbing it. So I love it. And so I'm going to put it on for you and show you uh, why I love it. And you might want to try it. And like I say, oh gosh, just not having to use this. I mean, how do you like my makeup routine? If I wasn't talking about this stuff, I'd have been done like a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, see that? Okay. 
I'll tell you, this is probably the most inexpensive get ready with me you're ever going to see. Oops. And each to their own, right? And how we want this to look. Can't believe I'm doing this, you guys. <laughs> I oh well. Do you know what? It's like I often say. Well, I say it all the time. My life is like a box, or my channel. Oh, I I don't think I can talk and do this at the same time. My channel is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So this is part, and you know I like to do life. Oops, now I messed it up. And that was real life, messing it up. Okay, what is that? one eye sometimes okay I didn't curl it <laughs> I may curl twice a month I don't know <laughs> this is too funny all right <laughs> the other eye can you tell this is the eye that's got the skin tag I don't know if you can tell but since I've been using the peaches um, doing all the routine everything I've been doing it's actually, it used to be like dark, dark brown and it's lost its color. So, okay, so I, when like I say, when I bought this, I did not realize that this was what they call a tube mascara. So it goes on your eyelashes like little covers, like putting, like, yeah, I don't know, but it's, a, that's what they meant when they referenced the tube. It was not the tube. It's not the tube of mascara. It's what the application of this product on your eyelashes is. Oh my goodness. I don't know how you girls do this. Some of you do it so well. And I even do this a lot faster when I'm not doing it on camera. I don't know. I'm a little. Get ready with me. <laughs> I think, you know, to me, this is part of my grace as I, as I'm, age you know it I just don't want to make it that complicated I was just talking to a really good friend of mine this morning before I did this video and she reminded me you're enough and you know what even when we think we have it all together it's really good to be reminded sometimes by some especially somebody that cares about you that yes you're enough and um and I want all of this to be enough I don't, I, I love the fact that basically, uh, besides now that I'm doing the milk of magnesia, so Bill's routine has changed a little bit uh, when he sees me in the morning. But you know what? I don't look all that different from when I go to bed at night to when I get up in the morning, whether I'm, you know, e even for a fabulous evening out, 
I don't, I don't think I would, well, I would do a little, I, so I would spend more time on my eyes. I would, I, 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 for an evening out, I would do more on my eyes, but I wouldn't do more on my face. My face is my face. It is what it is. Um, and I think, you know, that's one of the things I, oh, I shouldn't say this. I, you know, I'm missing the suntan and that's why I'm kind of a little bit generous with the bronzer because it still gives me that feeling. And if that gives me the feeling, then I'm entitled to that. And I don't use the creams, I just like a powder, so it's not, you know, hopefully it's just laying on my skin. I don't know. Did I do the bottom, you guys? I'm so busy chatting. I don't think I did. And all this white does is it, it just really extends the end of the lashes. I mean, you're supposed to, I think, only put it on the ends. I just put it on the whole lash. Okay. Back to it. Honest to goodness, Bill can tell you, I can normally get ready in about 15 minutes. And that's including my hair. When my hair is short, uh, then it's a little bit longer because I have to style it a little bit more when it's when it's short. Whereas with long, I kind of tend to pull it back. I don't wear it down. You know, I don't wear it down. And of course, lips. I am a gloss girl. And uh, this is the Rimmel London. And I don't like really dark lipstick. Uh, so this is the Stay Gloss. And then the other thing I use, because you know what? Well, it's really funny. I look back, my lips have always been pretty thin. But this actually is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. And this is by the same company who product I used to use. And, and I hoped I can introduce it back into my, um, into my taking care of my skin. Uh, but first I have to get my health, my skin really, really healthy. And then I can maybe put some of the serum back on and some of the lotion, but they also have this fabulous lip plump. And you don't get the sensation like you do with some of them. You know, they got that cinnamon or mint in it. This is just a, a nice little cream. I apply it every night. And before I put my gloss on, I use it as well. My oldest daughter has the most beautiful lips, beautiful lips. She swears by this. She absolutely loves this. And so this is by, it uh, feels like a facelift. And I have their link down below. I'm gonna have Lisa's link down below. Um, I can, yeah, there's this too, the L'Oreal. Okay, so then. There we go. I do have one pair of beautiful diamond earrings and then the rest, they can be, you know, they can be zirconian or whatever. They don't have to be real. You can keep them guessing. You don't have to tell everybody. I'm not gonna wear this hairband out, but you guys, I've done it. I've answered, I have answered the call. <laughs> I did a get ready with me. I hope you uh, will consider, if you're here and you hang out with me all this time, I hope you'll consider hanging out permanently and subscribe to my channel. And that would be that little red button right down there. Thank you, ring the, the gray bell at the very top. You just get a notification. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment. Let me know you're new. I'd love to always acknowledge it. Hi, welcome to my channel, Lady MC. I'm like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So yesterday was Bitcoin. Today you got ready with me. Hairband out. See you guys. 
This is me when I get ready. It ain't complicated. <laughs> See you later.